lecture i will explain separation of no load losses so separation of no load losses of a dc machine so what are the no load losses are there from the previous lecture the no load losses are divided into two one is iron losses and another one is mechanical losses and shunfield copper losses is also there iron losses can be divided into hysteresis loss and eddy current losses eddy current losses the mechanical losses are divided into frictional losses and windage losses so these losses are taken place in a core so friction losses means initially the motor has inertia to overcome that inertia some power is required so to overcome that friction so that loss is called the that power is called the loss friction loss and during running the wind will be opposes the speed at the time of start also some power is required to overcome this windage loss that is called the windage loss friction loss can be divided into two types one is the brush friction loss brush friction loss and another one is bearing friction loss friction loss see we know that hysteresis loss is equal to wh is equal to neta b max power x f v we know that f is equal to pn divided by 120 the frequency is depends upon the speed and hysteresis loss is directly proportional to n if the b max is constant a d current loss is equal to b max square f square t square and f is directly proportional to n and the d current loss is directly proportional to n square we can write it as hysteresis loss is equal to a into n the d current loss is equal to a into n square now the total iron losses total iron losses is equal to an plus bn square so the friction losses are depends upon the first one is brush friction loss so brush friction loss is directly proportional to n bearing friction loss is directly proportional to n power 1.5 and windage loss is directly proportional to n square out of all these losses and this will be bearing friction losses will be neglected now friction and windage loss windage loss is equal to this is directly proportional to n so c into n plus this one is d into n square d into n square so here a comma b and c comma d are the constants constant where pi is called the iron losses so p f w is friction and windage losses so p subscript nl is equal to an plus bn square plus 
cn plus dn square that is a plus b into n sorry a plus c into n a plus c into n and b plus d into n square this is called the total no load losses total no load losses here k1 is a constant that should be equal to a plus c you can assume that k2 is equal to b plus d then the no load losses is equal to kn plus k1 and plus k2 into n square after that so pnl divided by n is equal to k1 plus k2 into n if you draw the curve between on y axis you will take no load power divided by speed on x axis you will take speed here so first of all the speed is zero the speed is zero we can calculate the at n is equal to zero we can calculate pnl by n is equal to k one so that is called the constant after that it will increases linearly because it is y is equal to mx plus c like that so this is called the theta the slope k2 this is called the k2 is equal to y2 minus y1 by ex2 minus x1 here you can project like this here i am getting the x1 y1 here i am getting the project this x2 comma y2 while the slope will give the slope of the line slope of the line will gives k2 so this test kill me repeated for different values of field currents and k1 dash and k2 dash can be obtained so after that if you draw the curve the graph will be shifted upwards the graph will be shifted upwards this is called the separation of no load losses test the separation of no load losses test so coming to one problem the total iron loss in a dc machine is 7 kilowatts at the rated speed at the rated speed and excitation so with the same excitation the same excitation and speed is reduced to are reduced by 30 percent the total iron losses were found to be were found to be 4 kilowatts calculate hysteresis loss and eddy current losses at full speed and half of full speed so this is the question the total iron loss in a dc machine is 7 kilowatts at the rated speed so we know that uh, hysteresis loss is equal to a into n and the eddy current losses is equal to b into n square and the total iron losses is equal to ph plus pe an plus 
B n square. The total iron losses is given as 7 kilowatts. So 7 kilowatts is equal to rated speed. You should assume that n is equal to 1. A plus B is equal to 7 kilowatts. This is our first equation. At half, uh, so at half of uh, means at new speed. What is the new speed? N dash is equal to reduced by 30 percent means N minus 30 percentage of N. That is 1 minus 0.3 is equal to 0.7. So iron loss is equal to 0.7 A. Yes, N dash plus B into 0.7 whole square. So what is the value of iron losses to is a 4 kilowatts. 4 kilowatts is equal to 0.7 A plus 0.49 into B. This is our second equation. If you solve these two equations, I will get the constants. A is equal to 2.7143 and B is equal to 4.2857. And what is question is at a half full speed half of full speed then the hysteresis loss is equal to 0.5 times of uh, a that is 1.35715 kilowatts and the eddy current losses is equal to b into s n is half na, point n by 2 whole square right yes or no uh, that is uh, 0 0.5 whole square 1.07142 kilowatts. Okay, this is a separation of no load losses test.